This has been one of my most interesting quads, a uh, 3 inch using 1407 motors uh, running LDARC 3050 props right now. And it's actually using the Halifar Turtles 135 frame. And since I've created this monstrosity way back in November, I've never really gotten it to fly what I would call pr decently well. I fly on 4S. The racer stars are rated 2 to 3S, but 4S isn't that far out of the scope, so a lot of people run it on 4S. Um, the racer star 1407s, like I said before. And what they've done in past is give a dip when doing punch outs, or anytime you cut the throttle, the whole, the whole quad would bobble. And, uh, I've been able to rein it in and tame it a little bit with 3.3 and a lot of just tweaking and tightening and everything, making it fly pretty well. But not, not I mean, it was, it was pretty good. But whenever I would come down, because my D set, my, or yeah, my D was high, I'd come down and my motors were a little higher than I thought they should be. Enter Beta Flight 3.4. I loaded it on. I only changed the, I actually lowered the D to 18 and 20 um, for the D, yeah, for PIDs. I didn't touch the other PIDs, which I know are set up for a 5 inch, but I didn't lower anything, didn't raise anything other than that, and set my D point transition to 1, no, I'm sorry, D point set weight to 1, left the transition at 0, and upped my anti gravity to 8, which is what I've always used. Uh, almost all my quads I set it to 8 and that seems to work pretty well and right now I mean that was all I did and this is flying just amazingly well and I can't believe it really because I was worried that turning off the filters and everything that beta flight 3.4 did stock because it sets to P PT1 and turns off all your notch filters I was worried that that would overheat my motors and literally, they came down just as cool as any other motors I've ever had. Uh, they've been amazing. I'm blown away by a release candidate, Betaflight, that just turned my quad into what I was expecting to have seven, yeah, seven months ago. It just reined everything in. And I personally love it. So whatever you do, if you get a chance and you have a quad you're not too concerned about, Run Beta Flight 3.4, and it's amazing. This thing, I'm I'm blown away. Can't really, uh, yeah, I can't stress much more than that. It's like it feels good. I've got to do a little bit of tuning to get the rest of the prop wash out. For this though, for this particular quad being this just easy to fly, is outstanding. I can't can't believe it. Anyway, um, uh, yeah. Just thought I would recommend it out there. Beta Flight 3.4. Best one I've seen. I mean, if Butterflight's this good, I might try that. But, woo, yeah, Beta Flight. Pretty awesome stuff. Uh, at least the new one. I have not set up any of the uh, filter relax, eye term relax, or any of that yet. This does run an F4, so I can set all that good stuff up. I just didn't want to... I didn't want to change too many settings to make it not fly at least as good as it did before. And right now, I feel pretty confident that I can start playing around with it and actually getting it to fly exactly like I want. So anyway, forgive the boring flight. I wasn't wanting to kill it or destroy it or anything. I was mainly wanting to see if it would at least do as well as what it was doing. And I've just been blown away. I, I said that about the leader too, which is an F3 board. But this just, I'm, I'm really impressed with what, what this release candidate's doing. I mean, it's really good. I'm going to skip ahead here. And I'm going to jump to this part where the, I've turned on the acro trainer. Just wanted to show you, it's kind of hard to use in FPV mode. It defaults to 20 degrees, so no matter how far I'm pushing the sticks, front, forward, uh, yeah, front, back, left, right, I'm only getting about 20 degrees of angle. And at some point, my gyro probably became 
uncalibrated, so I could go farther left than I could right. I was only getting a couple degrees to the right versus 20 degrees or so to the left. Um, as far as the trainer goes, I don't know if I'll use it much, but I was flying this line of sight and it was so much easier to fly it that way line of sight because I didn't have to worry about flipping or rolling. It was like uh, uh, auto leveling without the auto level. So it, it was good stuff. Anyway, Betaflight 3.4, get it, be happy, you'll love it, promise. I don't promise, but it's, it's really good. Thanks.